Britain has vowed to uphold its Conservative election manifesto as the UK and EU officially began the first day of post-Brexit trade talks. An army of 100 negotiators on each side prepared for battle over issues such as tariffs, regulations and fishing rights. Ahead of the first round of talks, French Minister Amélie de Montfélin warned the negotiations could turn into a nasty battle as the EU puts a premium on adequate access to fishing waters for European boats. However, European adviser David Frost has vowed to deliver on the Conservative election manifesto. The European Union has been insisting the UK must sign up to common standards in order to be given preferential trade. On Sunday night, Britain's envoy, Brexiteer David Frost, gathered his team as they prepared for the talks. Frost told them they had a duty to deliver on the Conservative election manifesto. He warned the team of their duty to deliver on the manifesto with no regulatory alignment between Britain and the EU after the Brexit transition period expires on 31 December. A spokesman for the UK government warned the UK are looking for a free trade agreement which fully respects the UK's political and regulatory autonomy. The spokesman said, the UK negotiating team led by David Frost began the first round of UK UFTA negotiations today in a two hour meeting with Michel Barnier and Com. The UK will engage constructively to reach a free trade agreement which fully respects the UK's political and regulatory autonomy. Today, negotiators will break into nine working groups to cover the various areas of the UK's future relationship with the EU. This includes trade in goods, transport, energy fisheries and security policy. They will then close the first round of talks with another group meeting on Thursday. Every three weeks David Frost will be meeting with Michel Barnier in a bid to hammer out a final deal. As of now British negotiators are standing strong on the belief that the UK cannot be subject to follow EU rulings.